What is up ladies and generals, four eyes in here coming at you, coming through, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you my personal best class setups that I actually use in Season 6 of Call of Duty Cold War. So starting off in League Play, I actually use the standard classes that everybody else has used. So pro players, content creators, everybody uses this class. So for my Krig 6, I like to use the Microflex LED. You can also use the mill stop, but right now I like the Microflex. And then for the muzzle, I have the infantry compensator, 19.7 ranger barrel, field agent grip, 40 round magazine, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. Again, this is just a basic class setup that everybody uses. And then for my secondary, which is the Diamati, I use the Infantry Compensator, 7.8 Extended Barrel, Steady Aim Laser, 24 Round Mag, and the Airborne Elastic Wrap. For my Tactical, Flash Bangs, Lethal Semtex, Field Upgrade Trophy System. And for my perks, I use Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja with the Gunfighter Wild Card, which allows you to add three more attachments. So for my next class setup, which is the SMG, which is my main role in league play, we have the AK-74U. For the muzzle, I have the Spetsnaz Compensator, Barrel 9.3 Extended, 4 Grip, Grew Elastic Wrap, and the KGB Skeletal Stock. Again, just another standard class setup that everybody uses. The attachments for the Diamati is the same, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the perks. So the perks is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be using Flak Jacket, but instead of Scavenger or a blue perk, we will be using Tactical Mask and Ninja. So going ahead into multiplayer, this is my personal best class setup. So starting off with my number one class setup is using the M16. And for the M16, I use the Agency Silencer, 20.5 Task Force Barrel, Field Agent Foregrip, Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Raider Pad. For my secondary, I use the Amp 63 with the Sound Suppressor, 6.1 Reinforced Heavy Barrel, Steady Aim Laser, 20 Round Mag, Airborne Elastic Wrap. With my tactical being Stimshot, Lethal, Semtex, Field Upgrade, Jammer. And for my perks, I have Perk Greed as my wild card, so I can equip six perks, which are Flak Jacket, Tactical Mass, Scavenger, and Quartermaster, and then Ninja and Ghost. Back with my favorite gun in the game, which is the AK-74U. It's my most used gun. But for public matches, I actually like to use the Gru Suppressor, 9.3 VDV Reinforced, 40 round drum mag, Grew Elastic Wrap, and the KGB Skeletal Stock. The Amp 63 is the same, except for a sight. I just like to mess around sometimes. So again, same setup perk-wise and my tactical lethal and field upgrade. So I'm not going to show you guys those. Um, a little bit different here with the XM4. My XM4 class setup is very close to what I would use in league play. It's actually what I would actually use in league play. So for my optic, I use the Microflex LED, Infantry Compensator, 13.7 Ranger Barrel, Mounted Flashlight, Field Agent Grip, and then 45 round Fast Mag. If this was league play, I would just use the 40 round, and then Airborne Elastic Wrap, and then Raider Pad. Again, the Amp 63 is the same, so I'm not going to show you those. Same thing with my uh, Tactical, Lethal, and Field Upgrade. I'm just going to skip over them if they're the same because you can see it on screen. But for my perks, if I have three perks, I like Rocking Flak, Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. Moving on to the LC-10, I have the Agency Suppressor, 11.9 Reinforced Heavy, 45 Round Magazine, Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Raider Stock. These are all the same except for my second perk which is gearhead sometimes i just use quartermaster or gear they're all very good but i mostly rock scavenger and then i combine them with whatever i feel like is effective on the class moving on to my ak-47 i use the Gru suppressor 18.2 vdv reinforced bake light 50 round i think i use this just because because i usually rock the 40 but for whenever I play 12v12, I like using like a higher magazine count because there's more players. Grew Elastic Wrap and the KGB Skeletal Stock. And then for my secondary, I use the Nail Gun. There's no attachments for the Nail Gun. You just pretty much use it. I think I was grinding camos. Moving on to the KSP. We have the Agency Suppressor, 10.5 Task Force Barrel. 42 round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. As you can see, they're all pretty much the same. 
class setup. So yeah, this is pistol is a Diamati and it's the same as my league play class. So I'm not going to show you guys anything there, but that's why I don't like making best class setup videos because they're all pretty much the same. For my FFAR1 class, it is a bit different. I like to use the SOCOM Eliminator. 21.2 ranger barrel, mounted flashlight, field agent grip, 38 round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and raider stock. If you're wondering why I don't use a sight on the FFAR1, there's like less visual recoil. A lot of pros and other players notice this as well. That's why I don't like using a sight. I just use iron sights when I'm using the FFAR1. And then for my pistol, it's a little different. This is the M1911. So I use the agency suppressor, 6.5. 4.5 reinforced heavy, steady aim laser, 12 round mag, and airborne elastic wrap. Then moving on to my MP5 class, I have the agency suppressor, 9.5 reinforced heavy, 40 round drum mag, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. For my secondaries, I am using the Marshalls. I think I was just trying to get this DM Ultra because I haven't gotten it yet, but I used the uh, 12.1 extended. This recently just got a nerf, so that's why I don't use Dragon's Breath. And then I just have it dual wield. Then my Stoner class, I have the Agency Suppressor, 21.8 Task Force Barrel, 100 round speed mag, airborne elastic grab, and the Raider pad. And then this is just an M63 class with a Kimbo instead, but I probably will change this in the future. I haven't changed it to like a single Amp 63, but I probably will after this. And then my sniping class, I have the K, well not the KSP, the Swiss K31. And so I have the sound moderator on it, 24.9 Tiger Team. This is the most important attachment for the Swiss, by the way. And then eight round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. For my secondary, I have the iron high shotgun. This shotgun is so OP. Like I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna try to get this DM Ultra, but I still have to do some other videos. But for this class setup, I have the Microflex 24.2 Task Force Barrel, seven round tube, airborne lever wrap, and the Marathon stock. This thing is really OP. Trust me, guys. It's like a KSG from Black Ops 2. It's one of those like single slug shotguns, but for close range, it has pellets. So it's like, it's crazy. Best of both worlds. Here we have the Grav. I still have it level 29. I just unlocked it. I don't use like the extra 24 battle pass or I buy the battle pass. I literally level up from zero. So I it forces me to play the game. But right now I have the suppressor, 22.1 reinforced heavy, four grip, 50 round mag, and like speed tape. I don't have any of all the attachments. Obviously this is gonna change once I get it all leveled up and then I get the Ultra for it. But yeah. And then this the only difference with this class setup compared to one the one I showed you is I have the sound suppressor instead of a sight. And then my final class is a C58. I know this gun, I bash on this gun, but I'm making or filming the best assault rifles for season six for the final season because they introduced the graph. And this is a big class, but yeah, right now I'm messing around with the vision tech just because it has the nice oasis like blueprint it looks cool to me and then i have the infantry compensator 18.7 reinforced heavy mounted flashlight field agent grip 35 round drum mag airborne elastic wrap and the raider stock yeah that is basically my class setups that i actually use in game when i'm just playing and messing around by myself not filming a video obviously some of them are for video purposes but yeah Hopefully you guys find this video useful. You guys don't have to copy my class, but I think it's a good starting point. You can copy it. They're all very good classes, but you know, try to figure out what attachments like help your play style and fit your play style the most. But yeah, that is it for the video. Other than that, namaste my friends, and I will talk to you all next time.